All right, so it's August 6, 2020, which means we've got all the data from July 2020. They just published it. So all the information with respect to sales reported on MLS is nicely summarized over on the market watch. And that's what we'll be talking about during this video. I've also included in the YouTube description, the timestamps for particular information so that you can jump forward or jump back to the information, which again is pertinent to you. So the most surprising thing, and you can say the headline of this market watch is that the average price has increased by 16.9% from July 2019 up till now, July 2020. And this is across all home types and all areas as well as we can see just looking at the trend, prices are still going up. And this type of market that we're experiencing is very similar to what it was pre-COVID. For those of you that have been tuning into these videos and to some extent watching the market, you probably know that February 2020 was very strong, probably the best time to sell your home since we experienced the high times at 2017. And even looking at February 2020, there was the pretty much the same thing of the average price at that point had gone up by 16.7% over the past 12 months. So very similar now, and the price just looks like it's trending upwards since COVID times. From May 2020 to June 2020, there was an average price increase of 9%. And now June 2020 to July 2020, there's been an average price increase of 2.4%. So we can see it's not obviously as fast of a rate of growth, but it's still trending upwards. Now here's what's neat further is that if we look at the actual style of homes and the year over year percent change, we can see that detached homes have gone up by 16%. Semi-detached homes have been up by 16.1%. Townhouses up by 11.1%. And condo apartments only up by 8.8%. This is really interesting information and this is probably one of the reasons why people say Toronto real estate is right now so volatile. Because over the past few years, it's condo apartments which have been increasing the most in price. Whereas now it's like everything's appreciating except for condo apartments. As we can see here in the 416 bracket of condo apartments, there was only a 4.7% percent increase in price versus look at the average semi-detached home the average price in the 416 went up by 36.3 percent over the past 12 months now why is this happening it's particular how covid has affected our real estate market it seemed to not really hurt price growth or hurt the number of sales too significantly but with respect to condo apartments what i think a lot of people aren't taking into consideration is that a number of these condo apartments are leased out to tenants and purchasers are very unlikely willing to go ahead and buy condominium units and assume tenants at this time, given that like the landlord tenancy board for the most part is closed. And there's a lot of challenges that landlords are experiencing with their tenants. Otherwise, what I'm hearing just from speaking to like 50, 60, sometimes 70 people every single day is the fact that a lot of buyers are less comfortable looking at condo apartments versus another home. They're concerned, of course, with respect to the COVID measures and the proper procedures that condo buildings have in place. Keep in mind, unfortunately, some of the buildings have obviously had COVID. So of course, naturally, buyers would just be far more cautious. Okay, let's shift gears now and talk about the number of reported sales. We had a record-breaking July. There was 11,081 sales throughout the Toronto Real Estate Board in July 2020. And this is a 29.5% increase over from July 2019. So this is not the average price, this is the actual number of sales. Now, why is this happening? What so is we're experiencing like a late spring market. At the end of the day, there's a lot of people who are looking to buy to get their kids into a particular new school district by September and when school starts again. So because a lot of those buyers obviously chose not to buy during the time they typically would have, like March, April, May, they've all suddenly come to look for property and sellers are taking advantage by being one of the only homes they have up in their immediate area and very often selling for over asking price. Like my seller clients have been very happy right now and very surprised with the price that they were able to achieve and the short duration that it took on the market to get their home sold. Normally, we would see the number of sales dip in July relative to June as a lot of people begin to take vacations, especially with their children out of school. But not this year. Of course, it's different with the pent-up demand. And the last thing I wanted to touch on was bidding wars. If you look at all home types and you look at the different areas, we can see that the average list price to sales price is often exceeding 100%, meaning that homes are selling above the asking price. Particularly in Toronto, we can see the average home is selling at 102% of its asking price. Ouch, that makes it difficult for buyers. Um, like Toronto East, the average home is selling at 105% of its asking price. This is likely just because Toronto East generally has lower prices and they're more affordable for most people. And then looking at Durham region, 
the average home is selling at 102% of their asking price. Whereas of course, for obvious reasons, homes in the higher price brackets, they're not likely experiencing bidding wars. Like if we look at Oakville, that's still selling at 98% of their asking price. And some areas of central Toronto, like the more expensive homes, the luxury market, they're selling for 96, 97% of their asking price. Overall though, it's a great time to buy given that interest rates are still so low and the government's being a little bit loose and lenient with respect to mortgages. And then of course, for sellers, it's a great time to list your property. If you are looking for more information with respect to your area, perhaps you want me to send you some sales on your street or in the immediate pocket so you have a good idea what market value is, then feel free to contact me. And then for those of you move up buyers, this is an ideal market because the lower the price you go, generally the hotter the market seems to be. So for everybody looking to like get from a semi-detached to a detached home, timing really couldn't be better. Or perhaps you're in a home with like a one car garage and you're looking for a house with a two car garage. It's really such that if you break down the math financially, it just makes sense. So if you're looking to sell, then call me. My number is 416-671. 5218. And hey, for those of you realtors that happen to come across this video, then be sure to let me know if you're looking for opportunity. I recently switched over to a new brokerage, EXP Realty, where you actually have stock and ownership in the company. As a matter of fact, just today, EXP announced that they're being released in five new countries and our stock dramatically went up. Everyone's excited about that. So agents, let me know. My number is 416-671-5218. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, then be sure to click subscribe, click like, leave a comment below, and be sure to share this information with anyone else that you think may find it helpful. And I'll end this video in a different way than I usually do. Let's go ahead and take a look at my newest listing. I'll give you a preview. Watch this video. You'll enjoy it. Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal with eXp Real Estate, and I'd like to introduce you to my newest listing. We're here on 53 Oman. It's by Weston and Wilson. And if you're looking for an updated house, believe me, this property is absolutely stunning. It's custom built, never been lived in before, over 3,600 square feet. 